Hello, and welcome to the Shiba Chat Show. This is your podcast for all things Shiba Inu. On Shiba Chat, you will learn about health, training, education, nutrition, grooming, art, owner stories, and experiences about our beloved, fluffy, and natural monument of Japan, the Shiba Inu. We will be helpful and fun, full of guests like Shiba owners, trainers, nerds, and experts from around the globe. Now, here's your host, directly from Portugal, Charlie Mancini. Kiru, aka the victorious one, came a long way to Portugal, the country where his owners live. This Shiba belonged to Hugo Rocha and his wife Anastasia. He came from Russia, but he speaks in Portuguese. He is also a very active dog, always wanting to play with his Portuguese and Russian owners. He loves to walk in the forest, in the mountain or in the beach for a very long time. He almost never gets tired and is always challenging his humans for new activities. They love to have a dog like this because it helps them getting fit. Hello there. Welcome, Hello. Hugo and uh, Anastasia. So uh, you're uh, living in Portugal and uh, your dog, Kiru, came Kiru? from Russia, right? Can okay. you tell the audience a bit of your story, please? Your adventure <laughs> with the... Uh, Yes, it, it, it was a long trip. We, I, I will come a little before to, to talk about how we how we choose uh, Kiru and how we choose this breed. Um, it, it started in 2020, around May, uh, June, when we were in, a, in a, just walking by a garden, and we start to and Nasty start to talk about. I was I will say Nasty, it's Anastasia, just to okay. <laughs> understand it, uh, her, her nickname. Um, and then she she started she started to tell that she wanted to have a dog and uh, she started to look what kind of breeds we could uh, we could had have, have. Uh, and I, I liked the idea and um, and it was there more or less that we chose okay let's let's uh, try to find the Shiba Inu it, for me it was completely new breed I never heard about it I just saw some photos and some some videos when she showed showed me I started to be uh, in love by the dog because mm-hmm. it's very beautiful. And it's not. Easy. It's not hard. <laughs> yes, to be passionate about this breed. Uh, <laughs> and, and I never saw one in Portugal. For me, it was mm-hmm. completely new. Um, and then we start to search. Uh, because he's very active uh, breed and like to uh, walk a lot, and we wanted yep. uh, the dog uh, like a bunny. Yeah, good company. Yes, for good company. We 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 are mm-hmm. very fun of. Uh, very long walks in the in the forest, in the cities, mm-hmm. everywhere. Uh, we mm-hmm. walk a lot, and this is a breed that also needs to walk a lot, and so it could be a, a very good companion. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we start to to try to find in Portugal breeders, official breeders, and we only find one uh, in in Montmaninho, uh, Sr. Joaquim. I I I had his contact. I found in the in the internet in uh, the forum when I. I also joined in the Facebook of group of Chiba. Um, I called him, um, and then I started to be in the waiting list. Uh, and then months start to to pass, uh, and we just waiting and asking news and waiting and asking news and waiting. And one year passed, and, and we say, okay, we need to try to find another solution because we don't know. We don't know if it is more one month, more two months, because he's always saying, okay, let's see how it will be. In the next, uh, the next, uh, uh, um, how you call, how you said it, the next uh, yeah. newborns, uh, how, mm-hmm. how it will be, and then we just tired of waiting, and okay, we start to think about Russia because in Russia we don't have this problem. We have a lot of different breeders, good breeders, 
Uh, it was not easy to select one because we had a lot of options. The problem is to get it in Portugal. It's uh, okay. and, and, and even now in the situation now with COVID even more difficult. Um, but we had a good opportunity because some some friends of of Nasty also from Russia they would go to there to, to stay two weeks in Moscow and could be the trans, the transport solution. Uh, it's not so expensive if you have someone that could transport it, maybe 100 euros total. Uh, but then in the last time, the last minute, they cancelled the, the, also because of COVID, about uh, the being afraid about that. And we already had paid half of the price of the dog. Mm -hmm. and, okay, as a reservation, of, of course. Yes, as a reservation, yeah. yes. What do we do now? <laughs> everything shoes <laughs> and we already bought the cabinet, everything. It was all the documents. We already saw him several times. So yes, he bought his videos. <laughs> Yeah. Because it's all, and you oh, you were yeah, emotionally made. connected connected already with yes, the keto yes. already of course because the breeder was very nice she sent videos to us photos and mm -hmm. it was very pretty cool the name and she already yeah. called him I already bought the plate with the name with the important number. important uh, and okay we need to do something and we start to 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 search for companies that could transport those um, it's very expensive. Mm -hmm. We're talking about more or less the same price that you can pay for a dog. So yeah. How many kilometers this. from uh, Moscow to uh, your uh, city? Uh, from 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 the, the place where the dog was, can, can, uh, the name of the city was... It's not, uh, uh, Krasnodar, it's from uh, the south. So, uh, from the south of Russia? Well, not 9,000 kilometers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's okay, important for the audience. <laughs> Because there yes. are listeners in Africa or in Australia mm -hmm. or New Zealand that they don't know about the geography of, uh, of mm -hmm. Europe. Yeah, yeah, so it's it easier 9, for us. Yeah, yeah 9,000. Amazing. Um, and then we start to, 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 to contact different companies like we did for the breeder now for mm -hmm. transporting the dog. And we found several. It's really a service that people uh, acquire. So it's not something completely strange. But it's also very expensive, as I told you. Uh, and we tried to, in the first, to, to be by airplane. And by airplane, because for the dog, it's much more easy. It's talking about only a trip, about some hours. Um, but the, the, for this, for, for plane, they only uh, deliver in Spain. I don't know why they don't come to Portugal, but we don't have options for Portugal. So we had to go to Barcelona, to Madrid, to get the, the dog. And we start to make accounts. Uh, Okay, the, the, how much you have to pay for the transportation barrier, then how much you have to pay for how much you have to pay for going uh, to Barcelona, to Madrid. Uh, we start to try to find uh, terrestrial uh, transport and we found, we found several too and it was what we chose. Mm -hmm. um, it was a long trip because uh, first he was transported from uh, the more uh, not not the main town in Russia to Moscow. Uh, it was around six hundred kilometers. Then from Moscow to um, uh, Belarusia, and then so on and so on. It was uh, I think different companies that make uh, the transport until the one the, the service that we get that make the, the final. I think from Belarusia to, to here. But so they, the total 5,000 kilometers from Krasnodar? Uh, 5,000. 5, 5, um, so I said 9,000 was around. 5,000, <laughs> to be correct. She was seeing now in So Google. it was more or less five days? And, yes. And, uh, five yes. Days, uh, and we all, yeah. and we were very anxious because we wanted to know how was the dog, how, because it's talking yeah, about course. five days in, 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 in the car. It was a big car and we saw one. It was delivered to our door. So it was mm -hmm. that part was very cool. We just need to open the door. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course, I received <laughs> that part is amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because with the chair outside, yeah, yeah. and you were sitting and waiting with the car with you. I, I even have a, a they even took the photo with us. It was very, very cool. That part, but the, the, the part of the transport, it was not so how can I say the service was good, everything went by. Mm -hmm. How was planned, but about the feedback when you ask, Oh, how is the dog? Please send me a, a photo, a video. It was not so good. And 
uh, one two days we don't yeah. without knowing that what caused was happening. Uh, anxiety and anxiety, stress yes, of course yes. and we were mm. and we were afraid you know they they will bring the dog they will not bring they will pass every every parts of the different countries because until mm-hmm. they get in Europe uh, Europe no European it's not so easy it's what we think I think also it's very expensive because it's not completely legal yeah. what we think it's like they have connections they need to have the, the different people in each uh, border uh, first in, in Ukraine then in uh, Hungary and I think it's also because of that it's not, not not so easy but in the end everything went okay uh, mm-hmm. the only side effect that we don't know if it is really a side effect or not Kira doesn't like so much cars <laughs> maybe it was the experience of long time in yeah, the car course. so many hours because we don't know if they take the dog to to go walk or where they sleep I think they stayed maybe all the time in the cars. Uh, also because it was a very big van and we understand that they sleep there. So it's a business where they sleep even in the car, uh, mm-hmm. in the big van and transport animals. And they used uh, a, a particular route to not only bring Kira, but another, uh, we didn't send another dogs, another cats from these different countries in Europe until they reach, I don't know, they make some... Because Portugal in the end. Should be the end, yes. Like, mm. <laughs> you make a sure. route. Um, but but uh, about in the car, Kiru sometimes, uh, sometimes no, in general, he's stressed. He behaves well, he never vomits, nothing, but it's like he's afraid, he, he's not comfortable. Mm-hmm. Uh, he starts to be a little more in the, uh, the last times he does in the car, but we understand he doesn't like it. Because many dogs go, go looking and look in the window. And yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like, uh, yeah. Big job. Our uh, Satoshi, it's yeah. like that. He loves to uh, to look at the window and he stays look, like yeah. uh, calm yeah. and everything. Yeah, he, he, he can never watch. The so movie. I think could be that, or it's even his or his. Uh, mm-hmm. But we already did long long journeys with him, 300, 400 kilometers back okay. down. He he has well. Oh. That can't be so. Yeah, so this is the story of Hiro, how, how he, he's already with us uh, almost one year. He will make one year. Uh, with us now, sorry, uh, that was born. He will make one year in, in 23 of March. He's with us since, since July. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. So uh, why have you chose uh, the name Kiro? What's the, the meaning of <laughs> Kiro and uh, why you chose that? Okay. It, well, we start to 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 look and to read <laughs> about names, articles about that, uh, yeah. because we understood that most of names uh, are Japanese names, and mm-hmm. we understand it's like a tradition, and we don't even want to uh, to not follow the tradition. So we start to look, and we already knew a lot of the different names that we already saw. Mm. In the in the in the group because we also follow in the group in, in yeah, Facebook. the Facebook group, the Shiba Portugal. Inu Portugal. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I tried to find a different one. Okay, uh, and it was not easy. We we discussed. I I remember to print 20, 30 names and just say, "Oh, what do you think about this? What do you think about mm-hmm. this? What do you think about this?" Uh, yeah. And then we just came to the to the Kiru, the meaning of Kiru. It's the victorious one. Um, we think that. In, in some way, I, sometimes when you, you give a name to persons and, uh, and in this case to animals, um, in some way you start to, to see the meaning in that person, in this case in that animal. What we see about Q is that he's like has the compl- complex of Napoleon. He, because he's a small, he's a small dog, but to, without, without fear. Uh, and he really, uh, and every day when he Near some dog can be very big dog can be he doesn't he's not afraid. Uh, yeah. uh, and you're right, very... Shiba Inus they the their voices are high pitched, and high Napoleon pitch. had this falsetto like voice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And my my wife a lot of times say, oh, he has the complex of Napoleon <laughs> because being small, but. He's small, but yeah, really small, but uh, powerful. Yeah, yeah. and so bold, and bold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Uh, so, what are the advantages of having a Shiba versus mm-hmm. having another breed, another dog's breed? Um, the advantages. Had, had, for for us, it's the first. It's the first yes, dog. Yes, for me, mm-hmm. it's not the first. I had um, Cocker. 
a spaniel, I had the Labrador, mm -hmm. and I had some what we call fighters uh, without a, a, a breed. Specific. Hound dog, hound dog. Hound dog, hound dog. Yeah. Um, and um, what what I think in Q, he has a very, uh, a very um, strong personality. Uh, it's good in a way, sometimes can be not so good because he doesn't do what you want. For example, <laughs> I had a cocker and I want him to go to my to my nap. I just make him some, uh, how do you say, uh, some... You, you, you tender him, you, yeah, you tender you him, give yes. him, uh, him. Uh, and, and he likes and he's yeah, like, like two pets oh, to, to pet the dog. To pet, to I pet, think to it's pet to pet, to pet them. Yes. Yes. And, and they always like, still always want. If I call, he always come. Um, he is not like that. Uh, if it's him who wants to be near you, is he to want now for you to touch him, to pet him, mm -hmm. and it gives him a personality. It's not. Uh, it's like a, I don't want to call it a human dog, but has like some parts like a human. I I, I do what I want. It's not yeah. what you want. He uh, chooses what, very, what he wants to do. Yes, he chooses. Yes, uh, and also makes him in a way more unpredictable, but mm -hmm. in another way um, gives him uh, uh, a different value. It's like um, like you have another person with you. Um, and I think it's but very, very what, what's the advantage? It's uh, that one that you told. Yes, I think it's about. I think it's about uh, he uh, genuinely has uh, a will, uh, and mm -hmm. uh, if he doesn't want, it's very difficult to force him. Yeah, you they know, are not robots, want... and the other dogs, yes, like the labs or no, yes. people, maybe ninety percent of people will prefer like uh, dogs like that, mm -hmm. like. Uh, I don't want to call it like a toy, but it's sometimes like that. I want him yeah. next to me, come here, just stay here, the wrong way. With Kiris, it's not possible. Uh, I can't do it. I can just grab him, put him, but he goes away. I just grab him, put him, and he goes away. And start to even to be upset because he doesn't want. Uh, even course. about making, to pet him, to make uh, us his hand over his uh, affair. Sometimes he likes, sometimes he doesn't like and don't, don't want um, and I think it's it's something that I never experienced with any dog. It's the first dog that I have this kind of experience. And I think it's a challenge also to you. He's always challenging you every day. Um, we had different fights uh, with him to try to protect some parts of the house. Uh, and and it's, it's, it's funny how he remember things, how he can be clev more clever than us. And I think it's it, it, it's nice. Oh, okay, sometimes you you just upset. Oh, do, do this. Uh, he never destroyed nothing um, that I can say. Val oh, valuable. Much value. Valuable. No, mm -hmm. some some uh, um, uh, home shoes from last year, and some small things, small things. Yeah, of course. Uh, and his toys. He, mm -hmm. He's also it's, a, it's something that I, I also never saw in the dog. He can destroy any any uh, even very strong. A toy for dogs. We we we, we tried the different ones, very mm -hmm. uh, strong rubber, very strong materials, but he can destroy. He just uh, try and try and try. They are and try hunters, Ugu. They <laughs> are hunters, so you know they need to <laughs> destroy yeah. it. Yeah. Yes. You're always uh, thinking how, how I can do that. Yeah, yeah. He's always trying to 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 understand. Mm -hmm. How to be near and uh, respect him at the same time, uh, like because he's uh, flat, he's not like a pet, not like a dog. We really respect him and uh, his uh, will if he wants. And now it starts to be with time, his age start to be more, more often. He sometimes come to us and just lay down near in its moment of tenderness and we can touch him. But then it's, it's short time uh, and for us it's, uh, I think, uh, very high value. Yeah. Yeah. Just, mm -hmm. Oh, okay, he came to us. Yeah, yeah he, he really liked us, wants to be near. Yes. And, and that part we we also understand him. Is that like he has moments, he wants to be alone and has moments that want, want to be near us. And one curious, curious thing that he does every every time when we just leave him at home, uh, most of the time inside home, we just understand with time that it's more safe to leave him inside home. He doesn't destroy nothing in, in general, but outside 
in the garden it's more dangerous. He would just make a lot of holes. We cannot have the the, the garden uh, without holes. And if we want to to finish having the um, the grass, it's almost impossible because he's always making new holes. Yeah, he makes a um, mess in the garden. Yes, yes, he's a messy. I think he's trying to make a hole to Japan. I don't know if part yeah, maybe is in the way to Japan. Yeah. And uh, when he's he's alone, and when we came back, he looked like a child, uh, crying, crying, so crying. Happy. So happy, so happy. He make noises, different noises from the noise that I'm used to dog uh, do when they start to to like crying, um, crying of happiness. It's 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 amazing when every time can be 15 minutes, can be one hour, can be one day. He always do that, um, and it's, it's it's very curious how he's so independent, yeah. independent at the same time, but, but so attached to us. So attached, yeah. yes, and I yeah. think he's really attached. He, And we start to to also I know that and we read in, a, in the internet in general every every people talk about that never take the leech of him because okay his natural instinct is to maybe see a dog or see something go away don't don't mm -hmm. obey you yes it's true because we try to, we try to train him uh, to obey he obey but sometimes yes if he, if he's a dog uh, maybe he doesn't re respond. But in in in, in, in uh, some places that we go, like a forest, we are more or less alone, or in the beach, we just take out the leech, and we understand, especially not in the beach, especially in the forest where we go by by trails, and we do we do a lot of kilometers. He never or or behind or at at, at front. He does the both. Sometimes go behind, sometimes go in front. He always try to if he he start not to see us, he 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 will come to us. Uh, and it's it's uh, it's interesting to see he doesn't go away he because he's in the in the middle of his environment mm -hmm. more uh, um, animal environment forest is an animal environment with a lot of smells a lot of different mm -hmm. animals that he finds and, and he yeah, never does stimulus that. yeah yeah he's stimulated with he the... especially in the, in in the habit he he smells a lot of different flowers and he mm -hmm. stay longer time mm -hmm. he stop he stop he stop smelling and sometimes we just go more a little ahead and then he he grab us we mm -hmm. went to, to do in the in the last two weekends two times to do one trail called uh, the three three crosses it's it, it's um, in the top of one of the small mountains in the habit And he could climb very easily. We don't uh, even mm -hmm. uh, big rocks, and he can do it very well. And I was really um, surprised how he could do it without help. Um, and uh, uh, we understood that uh, in this kind of environment, I think it's it's difficult. I don't say it's, it's something that will never happen, but I think it's difficult to him to go away. We 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 just lose. I think not. But uh, okay, in the city uh, with 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 the animals, we don't do it. And we I think we will never do it. But it's good to understand that we can do it in the, this kind of environment and, uh, that he likes and we like too. And he, he's so happy. And he's very happy. He's just running, he's just running very fa very fast, and yeah. we just understand he's really happy yeah. without the leash. You are listening to the Shiba Chat Show, your podcast for all things Shiba Inu, celebrating the Doge community around the planet. Feel free to share this podcast with your friends and follow Satoshi, Charlie Mancini Shiba, at Instagram.com slash Satoshi the Shiba. The show will continue right now. Shiba Chat, Shiba Chat, Shiba Chat, Shiba Chat. Tell us what was your biggest adventure uh, with Kiro uh, so far. Uh, maybe those uh, three courses, that uh, three crosses that you uh, made, yeah, that, yeah. Trail, that, that trail. Yes, yes, that, that, uh, that was, was cool. Maybe, yes, it was one of the, um, uh, in terms of, I remember still when he was a uh, few months, uh, one month, maybe, maybe less than two months, when we tried to make, we understand that it's a dog that needs to walk a lot, that needs to meet activity, and we like activity. And when we, we made another trail, more easy, uh, also in the Havida, we almost know every trail in the Havida. Uh, mm -hmm. We spend a lot of, of time there. We live more or less near too. 
and um, we went in a trail around uh, four, eight kilometers total, four and four. And I don't know, maybe after one kilometer and a half, he just stopped. And we said, oh, okay, maybe it's because he's young, maybe because of that, but we read that they, they like so much to, to walk. And the only way to to continue with him is to put him in a in a in a in a, in a bag. Yeah. backpack 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 yes um, and, and and for me this is also very very curious because I never uh, saw a dog don't mind to be inside the bag and be transported. I don't know it was the le- the rest more to ha- two kilometers and a half and he never tried to go out he was completely normal I have a photo and video with that mm-hmm. and I think it's difficult for a breed how old uh, was he how old, I think old? He, uh, four months around four, four months. months but okay. then we understand it was about age uh, we, maybe we we were uh, 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 subestimates that he could all already yes. with four months could walk a lot no it was about that because with time we start to understand that he he has a lot of energy he could go walking much more than us maybe 10 20 now because he's not like an adult, I think, uh, with almost one year, and there is not a problem about that. But in that time, we thought that maybe even with four months, he could walk uh, a lot with us, and mm-hmm. we, we were wrong. But it was curious how the dog didn't mind to be in the backpack. Mm-hmm. It was completely <laughs> calm and <laughs> without any kind of problem. Um, about more adventures. Um, ah, and then we can call it adventure. It's like also yeah, like a trip like, that you like, did with yeah, him, yeah. like a, like a, like a scare that we had. It's about this this breed and that is a, um, a part that I see it's different and that they are much more um, aggressive to this kind of attitude than other breeds. Is he's when we are walking him in a place, he's always trying to grab something from the from the floor. It's com- like, like sheep, like splinter like sheep. Yes, he's always trying to everything he, he sees, mm-hmm. plastic, paper, everything. Uh, and of course, if it is a bone, if it is something about food, even more. But he's always trying to put in the mouth and do it. So we always uh, uh, tell him not to do it. it change some snack. Try to give him a snack and for him to don't eat. Yeah, to trick him. Part. You want to yeah, trick him. It's not easy. For it's the part yeah, that we continue not. to do with the continuous. Yeah. Uh, um, work and it's uh, it's not done and we have f- for sure a lot of work uh, in the way. Mm. But one, one time uh, we had uh, works here in our house, the still building some some things, and uh, the workers left here some things from the from the, the lunch. Uh, we didn't uh, we didn't understand that Kiro was around. He started to eat something, um, and then we went by car uh, and he started to vomit. And start to vomit. And then again, and then again, uh, three or four times. Um, and we were very worried because he never had any kind of, of this situation. And then we just understand after the uh, next day in the physics that he um, put out a small part of uh, like metal and Kiru ate a, a spicy sausage, um, a, a rest, not, not, not a spicy sausage, the rest of it. In had like a metal part when they just had like a cord around. Um, and it was that part that he ate and it was lucky that he could put it out and it didn't have to go to some no, veterinarian. But yes, but it's, it's, it's a part where um, we are more and more, um, uh, maybe sometimes more worried. Scared. Scared. Worried, yes. It's mm. what he could eat because he couldn't eat anything. And it's the, the part... I think it's nascent in this breed. They are mm-hmm. like hunters and they yes. smell and trying and uh, maybe with time more adult they start to be more, I don't know, maybe more calm about that. But mm-hmm. the way, they are active about that. Regarding um, the, the training and the education, do you think Shibas yeah. are hard to train? Uh, yes. Comparing yes. with other breeds, of course. Yes, uh, I think so. I never had uh, and, and this part I can I can say I very appreciate the, the patient in the initial and the, all the videos that my wife saw about how to train uh, a sheep. Uh, I had dogs, but I never tried to train them. Like Russian videos? Russian uh, videos? Yes, yes. 
the okay. yes. very good trainers from, from Russia. Yes, you saw a lot. Uh, and, and when we start to see these videos, uh, we start to be a little scared about how yes. the behavior that they could be. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, because in this video also she uh, the it's woman and she showed the uh, very complicated case because some she completely some of them very aggressive and she said a lot of time about the food uh, aggression that she been um, has this like uh, it's not a problem but it's like the uh, this breed could have. And uh, after all this video, we start to be a little bit worried because we already mm -hmm. uh, pay for dog, we already waiting here. And this is a lot of case uh, we saw and uh, uh, it's a little bit nervous. Because normally what, I don't know, I'm not saying that people are hiding, but normally when we, we go to groups from Shiba, it's like everything is, I'm not saying it's perfect, but it's, you don't, you, you don't see the maybe the real problem that people can have. Um, and I think sometimes people don't, just don't want to say it because they don't want okay, to say, oh, my dog is a problem, a problem. It's what I think. Um, also, we understood the way of training Shiba Inu and another breed is completely different. Uh, he's not like uh, a story mm -hmm. he's completely a shepherd. A German shepherd. German shepherd, yes. yes. It's not a way trained with uh, heart and uh, force. No, yeah. it's like you need to try to agree with him. Okay, if you will do this, I will give you something. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah, you have to make an agreement, like uh, yeah. yes, an yes, agreement, yes. a deal with them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Another thing that we, that we that we see him in, with the other dogs is that he never start barking. He never start doing nothing that we could see by our eyes that he's like uh, 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 being doing something that the other dog doesn't like. But what we see. Is in general, I'm not saying it's 100% because he has two or three dogs that they just like to play very much with each other. But in general, the other dogs start to be aggressive, start to bark, start to... It seems that Kiru makes some, something that he, they didn't like, like they, he just provoked. But we don't mm -hmm. see, we see him normal. He doesn't bark. He looks yeah. like very innocent. Yeah. Yeah. Why they are yeah. Shibas are like that. <laughs> uh, yes. Welcome to the Shiba world. <laughs> that part we don't understand. Maybe it's yeah. some smell, it's some something that they pass that we don't that we don't uh, understand. Um, and uh, so, sometimes maybe he just looks at the other dog that is threatening oh, or yeah. almost biting, and he's like, hmm, "Poor guy, yeah, he got no self control." That. You know, <laughs> it's something like that <laughs> yeah, yes, because yes, they yes. have the Asian uh, kind of, uh, yeah, they, yeah. they are really yeah. relaxed. So yeah. when those types of situations occur, I see in Satoshi, he does that. He just looks and he doesn't show the teeth, for instance. Yeah. Yeah. And him in general like that. And, and, because, uh, they because they are chilled. They are chilled. Yeah, chilled. Yeah. 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 Uh, because sometimes the, the owners from dogs that just come near the kiru say, no, he never bite, he's very calm. No, and they, they, then the dogs start to be aggressive and they start to go to the dog like they, they never see him like that. Because mm -hmm. it's not it happens. Yeah, it happens. It's a situation. Um, I'm always not used to it. In normal dogs, okay, a bolt can uh, bark or not, but kiru in general, he never barks. Um, we only had, um, <laughs> yes, at least the first. We only have a situation um, with another with another uh, uh, Shiba um, that that came to us. It's also from uh, um, from Irena that you interviewed uh, mm -hmm. before. Um, he was very aggressive, and we maybe because it's two dogs. Kiru, to Kiru was feet. aggressive, or the other dog. First it was Kiru. First it was mm -hmm. Kiru. We, we even we even try we even uh, we had that le lesson before because we also had a, another experience with another Kiru. This case from from you when you came to visit us, mm -hmm. and this time we we went out first with with um, with our dog to meet outside, and even outside mm -hmm. the first reaction was very aggressive from Kiru. Yeah, the dog was more or less calm. Um, he's more old, I think. 
if I don't remember is that in the two, two years, yes, it's a little mm -hmm. more old. And then we try to go to to a park and for them to play a little and yes, more or less, but then it was the other dog that started to be a guest kill and he even bite him in the mm -hmm. in his uh, in his uh, body. Um then we came back home, we start we put them a, a little far away from each other. But even in the end, we could not get them to be more or less in peace. And the, the same didn't happen when it was uh, when you, you came to visit us with, with your Toshi. Uh, in the beginning, it was not easy, but then they start to be like friends. Yeah. Maybe the difference in age with your Toshi is more or less the same age than our Kiro. I don't know what would uh, mm -hmm. have happened. Could be the um, case. Yeah. Okay, could you recommend uh, the audience like a movie or a book about uh, the Shiba Inu breed? What have you seen that uh, you find uh, fascinating about, like interesting? Yeah, we saw the, I don't remember exactly the name, is Three Marys and... Ah, and uh, Three Puppies. It's uh, yeah. Mari, Mari and Three Mari, Puppies. Three puppies. Yes, yes, uh, you've seen the movie, very, very cool. cool. Of course, because it's about the Shiba, you know, it's about yes, Shiba. It's about Shiba. Shiba. Actually, it's really about Shiba. Shiba, not like the other. Um, yeah, Achiko. Achiko. Achiko, not yeah. a, a Shiba. It's, uh, yeah, of course, it's, it's Akita. an Akita. But many people just mix yes. this breed. Yeah. Oh, breed. a baby oh, Akita. <laughs> yeah. Yes. But yeah. now it's it's curious because mm -hmm. now I start to be um, uh, and things are, are changing. A lot of people, even in Portugal. When I say Portugal, because uh, we cross with different uh, people from from other, other countries, and they know Shiba, you read more or less. Good. But now in Portugal, even children start to know. Yeah, people. start to be. They it's start true. To it's true. Uh, yeah, in and our case, it's months. like yeah, the teenagers and the children and the they are recognizing Shiba. like. Oh, that's a Shiba Inu, yeah. and I and I thought, oh, oh, how how did and you? And I yeah. do like a compliment, like, oh, congratulations! Yeah, yeah. Very well. Well, I can Very well. it's because uh, coin. It's ah, the cryptocurrencies. Ah. Okay, okay, maybe Dogecoin, and maybe. now yeah, there no. there are Shiba Inu and Baby Shiba, you know the tokens. Yeah. So yeah. maybe because of that, because it's That's getting so popular, the cryptocurrency. Yes, and also the coin, yeah. the Bitcoin, it has the, the image of the dog there. Yeah, yeah, the Dogecoin. Yeah, yeah, the memes, the memes, the internet memes. Yes, because because a lot of guys, the young boys, yeah. say, oh, but it's a dog from memes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a meme. We we can tell people that it's a meme from 2013, and it's uh, yeah, it's a bitch like a female dog, uh, mm -hmm. Shiba Inu, mm -hmm. and um, you can like teach a bit about. Uh, about the breeds to other people, but but people get like so curious. Oh, is this a rare um, kind of dog? Is this a fox? Is this a <laughs> yeah, what yeah. was like the the, the 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 funniest thing that uh, they told uh, about? Uh, yeah, it's like it's like yes, it's like a wolf. It's like a, a wolf. It's like a <laughs> fox. Uh, I saw we saw um, a fox one time when we were also in the. In, in a journey, and okay, uh, the fox is much more thinner, much more smaller, much it's different. Yeah, Maybe the tail, the tail is nothing tail like is Japanese dog breeds, of course. Yes, yes. it's not rounded, Maybe. more curly. Maybe because of the color, mm -hmm. face, Maybe, but yeah. I think it's many, many different from prickly um, ears, prickly ears yeah. too. Yeah. Maybe it's yeah. because of the different. yeah, but but the shape yeah. of the nose, it's different. Ok, Hugo e Anastasia, thank you very much. Muito obrigado. <laughs> We are so for being here. This Do you have any platform. last uh, message for uh, people that are listening to you and uh, that you'd like to to say uh, to them? I think, an important um, thing. I, mm -hmm. I think it's 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 uh, for the, the balance that we can do until now. Uh, nine months with with Kiro more or less um i think it's worth to have uh, this kind of dog it's it really challenges you sometimes sometimes you can have uh, 
uh, less patience because he doesn't do what he wants. Mm -hmm. uh, but has a very. I appreciate his his personality. I think it's it's it also about we didn't speak about that, but about uh, the needs that he need to do, like uh, every human being. He never does it at home. He always do it. Uh, we also teach him to do outside, but. Um, he even he if he he needs he can uh, uh, just let us know and we understand he needs to go to go out. It's like a, a cat too, like we also uh, many times read and see people talking about a, a dog cat. He mm -hmm. has that part, of it. and also the part of being more independent, like a cat. But I think it's really worth worth it um, to have a dog mm -hmm. like this. Um, and what I start to be a little worried, it's what we start to see. Uh, some about this breed that you just look uh, if you go to, to Facebook in our group we see a lot of dogs that start not to resemble the breed because they look different they have much bigger ears they have different kind of bodies and it worries me that in Portugal mm -hmm. we don't have more breeders and more people and maybe because of that only have one more pressure maybe more dogs need mm -hmm. to come out and start. It's a part of that. Uh, mm. Yeah. Well, that... Would you like to, to be a breeder in the future? Um, it's, uh, it's 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 about time. I don't I, I don't have time uh, mm -hmm. to do it. Uh, I think it's if I if we could do it, we, we we thought about maybe having a female, but not not to be a breeder. Maybe just something that we could do. A very small with some friends that could want, but not for really mm -hmm. a breeder. I think you need really to invest and need to have. Yeah, I don't course. say 100% dedication, but uh, near to that. Man. But 95%. <laughs> no, it's yeah, important so, when you are a breeder, it's important that, yeah, that you study about genetics yes, and everything. Yes, yes, yes. It's not like a hobby. Yeah, you you yeah, can't be a, an like honest, that. yeah, an honest breed. Okay, thank you, thank you. To give some more, yeah, advice to to people advice that are or... that are curious about the breed, but they are not sure if it's the proper. Because uh, in your experience, you can tell the audience uh, that for some type of people, Shiba Inu, it's not the right dog for them, right? The Shiba Inu not the dog for people who prefer to be at home. The Shiba Inu not uh, just for sitting uh, in the sofa. He needs to really move and walk and a lot. And uh, we try to walk with him uh, in the morning, in the evening, and uh, it's more or less mm. uh, five, six five, kilometers. Six kilometers for the Per day and uh, in the camp we walk a lot. Even uh, if we cannot walk enough, we just uh, see that he starts to be or boring or start to be so not aggressive, but uh, yeah. a little bit yeah, like, like it's, yeah, yes, like it's, with the zoomies and everything. Yes, not he yes, to yes. run really fast yes. inside the house. Crazy yes. Yes. And we just understand it's a sign that we didn't walk, walk enough. enough. Yes. Yeah. And That's right. So yeah. they are very active and sportive. Yes, yes. And they are they sportive. To do it. And, the, and I think people need to understand that this breed, that this breed needs that. Yes. Besides about the being more patient, to understand that he's not a dog to be always near you, he needs independence, all that part that people maybe don't like so much and they want every time you, they want the dog when they come home, they want the dog to come near and be near you. It, it's not a dog. It's very good company. Yes, yes, yes. It's it's my part, and to, to always try to be near. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening to this episode of the Shiba Chat Show. And now it's time for you to go play with a Shiba Inu. If you would like to get in touch, please send us an email to shibachatshow at gmail.com. Bye for now. I, 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 I,